welcome New Beginnings family and thank you for joining us once again for another period of devotion during our time of consecration. My name is Doris Famulu and it is great to be here with you today. Now, um, one of the exhortations that um, we were encouraged to go through this week had to do with thanking God for the threshing seasons. Now, the threshing seasons are those seasons of testing, seasons of pruning, seasons of purification that we don't always gravitate towards just because they are particularly difficult. However, as believers in Christ, it is important to understand the totality of salvation in order to be able to have gratitude for seasons of threshing or seasons of pruning and purification. Salvation is defined as preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin or loss. A more biblically sound definition is deliverance from sin and its consequences. So in either definition, it stands to imply that as a result of salvation, we get to live a supernatural life. Now, living a supernatural life does not necessarily mean that we are living free from obstacles. However, it means that it is a life lived from a position of understood victory. So, you know, when we have trials and tribulations, when we're going through threshing seasons, we understand that the battle has already been won. The ultimate price was already paid on the cross of Calvary, so it is finished. So whatever we need to do to find the grace to get through the threshing season, let us do it because we already have the victory. Now, salvation is a free gift, but to walk in its full benefits, to draw from its many wells or its many springs, according to Isaiah 12, 3, which says, with joy, you will draw water from the springs of salvation. One of the key principles to abide by is the principle of complete surrender. Now, let me say that again, the principle of complete surrender. Galatians 2.20 says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself up for me. See, to host God, we must die to self. We must be completely surrendered to his will. We must be surrendered to his agenda. We must be surrendered to his priorities. Jesus gave his life and he died to self. He understood and he showed us what it meant to live from a position of victory. And brothers and sisters, we are called to do the same. When you're able to surrender completely, to decrease to nothingness so that Christ in you will increase, then the devil will see that nothing he throws at you will diminish your praise. Nothing he takes from you will dim your light and no scheme of his will move you or deter you from the father's business, which is really all we are called to do to be about our father's business. Not as easy as it sounds, right? I didn't think so. But that is why we have consecration, times of retreat to intentionally spend seeking God's face, communing with Elohim, staying in the word, allowing the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth as we are built up into spiritual houses, refreshed and recharged for the next assignment. We often want a holiday break after a long season of work or after a long season of school. Spending time in consecration, spending time in the Father's presence gives us an opportunity to do just that to worship, to exalt him, to acknowledge him. And then in turn, he refreshes you because there is fullness of joy in his presence. He leads you, he guides you into the truth because his Holy Spirit will show us where we need to go, will give us strategies as we continue to exalt him. He directs our paths. So recognizing that complete surrender to our God is an act of worship as we are reminded by Romans. Romans 12, 1, where it says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers, on account of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. 
So when we are feeling discouraged, when we're feeling tired, even during consecration week, let us stay the course. Even if we break our fast or waver on any given day in prayer, study, or behavior, let us be encouraged. Let us not give up. Let us get back into the secret place, wait on the Lord, and he will meet us in our place of complete surrender. Amen. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you for this period. We thank you that we are able to come into your presence where we can be refreshed, where we can be taught by the Holy Spirit, where we can practice complete surrender and be prepared to emerge as spiritual houses ready to face the battle that continues to rage on with your glory, with your power, and with heaven's angels on our side. This we pray in Jesus' name. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you and see you next time.